Big Tractor Power is at the 2018 National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky. We're here with Caleb Schlater, who is the marketing manager for Agco Harvesting Products. Caleb, thanks for taking the time to visit with us. Uh, looks like you've got some exciting products here at the show and a big new one on the way. Yeah, yeah, not a problem, not a problem at all. I really enjoy having, having the opportunity to do this. We love being in the National Farm Machinery Show and we like to showcase our products. So we've actually brought two combines here today and we brought two different heads. Behind me you'll see the 9255 and then we also have the 9505 series Massey Ferguson over here. Uh, both of these machines right now, the 9255 is a fantastic head, works to a high performance. Some of the new features that we have are a new reel, uh, a new skid design with a, a low skid uh, profile. And then you also are looking at a lot of how we transition our crop to our combine. So besides our new features, it just goes back to that same mentality of the draper and why it's important to have nice, even feeding into a combine. And when you have that, especially with our Massey Ferguson 9505, and nice, even feed into the machine, it allows it to really eat crop. And it allows it to have that high capacity that the Massey Ferguson Axial Combine is known for. And when you look at that Massey Ferguson Axial Combine, the 9505 series, which is a class seven and a class eight combine, overall, the capacity is, is made to just run and run hard. And it is a great machine when it comes to that. Because of the, we have a belt drive design on our rotor. So we're driving that power transfer very efficiently and very effectively from the engine to the rotor, uh, very simply. And we want to drive that power to where it matters most. And then when you look at the power transfer across the rest of the machine, all of that power is being used efficiently and effectively, limiting the amount of 90 grid gearboxes that we have that result in that parasitic power loss. So overall, we want to push as much power into this machine as we can so we can go out there and cover a lot of acres like a lot of our farmers like to do. Well, Caleb, we're here inside the machine, and um, one of the things when I'm out in the field filming these combines, you never really get to see the inside because they're actually working and harvesting. Oh, yeah. What can you tell us about the uh, axle rotor inside there? So, uh, like I said earlier, this rotor is, is specifically designed for this combine. It's 31.5 inches in diameter. That means it's got a great amount of capacity behind it. This is, once again, a belt-driven rotor from the engine. Uh, and so we're taking that power and you can see just how large that rotor is in order to thresh and separate that crop efficiently and effectively. We call it the Trident Processor. We want to make sure that we're doing a, a good job threshing and a gentle job on separation. That way we have those low loss levels and great grain quality. We are up on top of the Massey Ferguson 9565 with Caleb, and we're gonna take a look at the engine compartment. We got a good view of the show up here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is a great view. As you can see our engine here, this is an Agco Power engine, 9.8 liter, seven cylinder engine. Provides that great power that we have going straight into that rotor, straight into the rest of the machine. The other key feature that's up here on the engine deck is this right here. This is what we call our V-Cool. This is the reason why we have such easy serviceability and easy maintenance of your machine. This is a variable speed fan, so and our, you can see as our radiators are stacked in a V pattern, so you're not pulling dirty air through dirty air. Everything is being pulled through one, one uh, angle of that. So the key thing here is that you're not going to have to be replacing your air filter every week or blowing it out or, or what have you because we have this variable speed fan that also reverses and will blow chaff off once it starts coming down. Now, I saw that out in the field this fall when I was filming a Massey Combine and is it about every 10 minutes, 15 minutes? Every it 15 minutes okay. it will reverse and uh, it, it works really well and if you're not ready for it, it's going to scare the heck out well, of you uh, if you're in the cab. The farmer <laughs> was very happy with it. He was really liked what it did. Wonderful. And one other question, I, I know that when I did a video on a Massey Combine, uh, one of the specs is it's got a seven cylinder engine. That's not a, an engine that you hear that much about as far as you hear about V8s and line six and stuff like that. But what advantage does this engine have? The, really what we look at when we talked about the seven cylinder. So we actually had the, the six cylinder uh, engine when we had a, a previous model. And you just started seeing more of that torque and more, once you really get into the hard work 
when you start to dyno the machine or when you get into that hard work in the field, this engine can recover. And it can recover much faster and at a much better pace than what another engine can provide. So that seven cylinder really gives it the power behind it, but make sure it sustains that power as well. While we're looking at the combine, the unloading auger is a big part of the operation, moving a lot of grain out of the grain tank. Uh, what size grain tank do these combines have? So these come with a 350 bushel standard grain tank. Uh, the other key thing is you're probably looking at that unload auger, that end of that spout, and you, you question why it's turned upwards. Well, the answer is pretty simple. It's actually a spill saver. So when that, when that auger folds back in and gets into its saddle, that spout will actually turn over. Then when it's ready to go out to unload, it'll turn back over up and it'll swing out and then it'll turn down ready to unload in the grain cart. Once that is done unloading, it'll spin up, save any grain that's inside and then swing back to the cradle until it's ready to unload again. That's a great feature. I know I film all brands of combines and every one of them has a little bit of dribble coming yeah, out once everybody they, the gets grain a little cart bit pulls of away. So yes, that's sir. a very neat feature. Well, Caleb, we're over here at the Gleaner, celebrating 95 years of production, the world's first self-propelled combine. Congratulations to Agco on such a historic run of uh, building the silver combines. Yeah, that's exciting. And you know, it's, it's extremely humbling to think about, you know, this brand's been around for 95 years. This combine, from what we started out with the Baldwin Brothers to what we finished here today with the S9, what we're going to do in the future, that whole evolution is just so exciting and especially now that you take a look at the S9 and what that means to us and to Agco as far as a product that has really revolutionized the Gleaner brand. And we've, we've taken the new cab, we've modernized it, we've gotten more technology, um, we've gotten more productive and we've gotten more capacity just from some small changes that we've made year over year over year. So we're really excited that it's the 95th year of the anniversary of Gleaner and we can't wait for the 100th and the 105th, but this, this one's special as well. Well, let's talk about the uh, Gleaner Cornhead. That's really been catching a lot of attention in the past year and doing a great job harvesting corn. Yeah, the Command Series Cornhead has been great for us. We've released the Command Series about two and a half years ago, and it really was the next step for us as far as Cornhead technology. We had the 3000, which was a great head, which really did its job from a durability standpoint, from a productivity standpoint, but we needed a head that started reducing the amount of, of residue intake. We needed a head that could increase the speed. We needed a head that could also reduce the amount of header loss right out of the gate, and that's where we got the, the 3300 Command Series corn head. You can see throughout the entire head, it's the architectural, functional design of the head from the dome, here to make sure that you control ear bounce to the polyethylene low density uh, snouts to make snouts and gatherers to make sure that we're not promoting butt shelling even to the larger auger now this auger looks a lot larger than any other cornet in the market and the key reason is is we're able to move it slowly to convey that crop effectively but gently at the same time, limiting that butt shelling, limiting that kernel loss, because at the end of the day, if you don't get the kernel into this head, it doesn't matter what you do with the combine, you, you've already lost it. So we wanted to make sure that every kernel was going into your machine. So we also have a plug and play road guidance, which is fantastic. And we like using the suppliers that, that do the best in the industry. So right off the bat, we have Rykert Rosense here. It's plug and play integrated into that corn head. The corn head was actually designed to hold it there. So that's extremely exciting. And then if you come over on this end, we have a score as our header height control. We are using head sight header height control. Once again, an industry leader, we wanted to make sure that we are using those people who do it best in the industry when it comes to our technology. So both of those are plug and play right into that 3300 Command Series corn head. So you have a great corn head with great technology to harvest more productively and better. So, Cal, the big feature on the Gleaner 9 Series is the is the cab, and I got to ride in one of these this fall, and I was really impressed at how quiet it is, even compared to previous Gleaners. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's one of the nice thing when you talk about uh, comfort. 
visibility, control, those are all things that we baked into this cab when we designed it. And talk about comfort, that that's right. Uh, low noise. I mean, the combine's loud, we know that, but if you can control that and make sure you, you limit that noise that's going in and affecting the operator, you really lower fatigue. And that also comes with the size and the comfortability of it with the, with the air ride seat, making sure that we have a comfortable operator station for that operator. Then the other side of it is control. You can see as the Titan terminal that everything on that on that terminal is designed to give you control. There's four quadrants. There's a, a yield mapping, live yield mapping integrated into it. You also have all your persistent screen and you have your settings, as well as a completely redesigned uh, hydro handle that's gonna allow you everything to be at fingertip control. So we really wanted to maintain that control. So we have comfort, visibility, and control. And you can obviously see from visibility standpoint, you can see an eight row head uninterrupted, a 12 row head without having much to look around. The visibility in this cab is amazing. It's, it's a treat whenever you get a harvest in it. It looks like a little bit of history on the door too with that classic Leaner logo. Yeah, that might be a, that might be a couple of us who like that uh, old school logo that sure. we throw on things. Now is this the same cab also that's used on the Massey combines? Or? It is not. Okay. It is not. That the, This is a vision cab. This is the CEA architecture. So Leaner was kind of the guinea pig when it came to this cab. You're going to see more and more of the technology within Agco going to that armrest, going to that terminal, and going to this overall uh, electronic architecture. So Agco manufactures the Gleaner combines and the cabs and the Massey Ferguson combines, Challenger combines in Heston, Kansas. Yep. Uh, what's the future for Agco harvesting? What's coming along for 2018? Well, a lot of people already know. Uh, we, we're very really excited about what's coming in the future. Uh, they might already know that it's called the Ideal Combine. We are really looking forward to launching that later in 2018, and we're taking a very customer-centric approach to our launch. We want to make sure that the customer is first. We did that when we built the product, and we want to do that when we when we show the product and reveal the product to our customers, because they're the most important ones, and uh, we want to show them how, how much of an impact this machine can make to their operation. Well, we'll look forward to seeing it out in the field this fall, and uh, it'll be exciting to see what the ideal can do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Well, thanks for your time and looking at the Massey Ferguson and Gleaner Combines, and looking forward to visiting about the ideal combine in the new future. Oh, I appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you very much.